Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going over what I believe to be the top 10 hardest maps in Call of Duty Zombies. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and without further ado, let's get right into it. Starting off the list at number 10 has to be the map Mob of the Dead. In this map, there is no quick revive. Instead, it's replaced with a different revive system, which actually makes it easier on the player if they were to go down. Other than that, there really isn't anything easy about this map. Brutus is a really good boss for this map. He's challenging and can lock down or disable your perks. Mob of the Dead is also very complex. If you don't know the map by heart, then you'll find yourself spending a lot of time looking up guides. But if you're looking for a map that'll challenge your skills, the Mob of the Dead is a perfect choice. At the number 9 spot, it's going to have to be Origins. This, like Mob of the Dead, is a complex map. You have to turn all 6 generators on to unlock Pack-a-Punch. The mud makes it very difficult to get around on this map, so you'll probably need to get stamina up. Oh, and let's not forget the Panzer spawns in on round 8. So you're pretty much going to need to be set up by then. Because of Origins complexity, you'll need to be looking up quite a few guides. Not to mention, it'll take you about 25-30 to 30 minutes to get fully set up, but if you end up going down before then, good luck. And you're going to want to watch where you're going as well. The giant robots occasionally make their way through the map, so try not to get stepped on. Even though it's a tough map, I still enjoy going back and playing it, but it definitely deserves the number 9 spot. Farm takes the 8th spot. It was designed as a survival map, it's small, has perks, and a mystery box, but it doesn't include a pack-a-punch machine. So trying to go for high rounds is going to be extremely difficult, and most of the weapons on Black Ops 2 are trash, so even just getting a good weapon will be a challenge. But yeah, it's a challenging survival map, so I would recommend giving it a try. Claiming the number 7 spot is Shangri-La. Shang has always been one of the harder maps within Call of Duty Zombies. I mean, there's not much space on it, the Wonder Weapon is alright, and the booby traps can mess you up. Also, this map includes two different zombie variants, the Screecher and the Napalm Zombie. With the map already being small, along with the other elements that I've already mentioned, this makes it one of the harder maps to play on especially in the Black Ops 1 version where it's a two hit system. Next up on the list, it's the number six spot and it goes to the map five. There are many reasons why this map is on the list. Again, there's not a lot of space. The Winter's Howl is absolute garbage and the Pentagon Thief can be annoying. He'll steal your weapon and just run off with it. And if you don't kill him in time, then you lose it. This all can happen while you're setting up. The Winter's Howl isn't even a viable weapon. It'll just freeze the zombies. And when you're looking to go to a high round, you're going to want a more powerful wonder weapon. The combination of all of these is what makes the map so hard. Now at number 5, it is Nuketown. First off, the perks spawn in randomly, and they do every 5 to 10 rounds. So there's a chance that you could get Jug very late into the game. And it's a Black Ops 2 map, which means that the 2 hit system is still in effect. Even with all that, this map is also Nuketown. And if anyone has ever played on Nuketown, then they know that the map is small. Training on this map can be very difficult and tricky, but this map will surely be able to make you a better Zombies player. The map Moon comes in at number 4. Moon is a pretty difficult map overall. You don't know when you will get Jug. You can either get it at the beginning of the game in Area 51, or you'll have to wait till you go back. And still, there's a chance that it won't spawn in. So that in itself can be relatively challenging. Also, the zero gravity will also play an effect. You'll have to get used to the zombies floating around and the movement. A couple times playing this map and you should probably get the hang of it by then. Now a big problem that you'll come across when playing this map is that the astronaut will follow you around. He can easily be avoided, but sometimes he just sneaks up on you whenever you're not expecting it. Then he'll grab you and after that he'll teleport you to the spawn room and you'll lose all your perks and you're on a red screen. So this proves why Moon is considered a hard map. Moving on to the 3 spot, it's Verrucked. It makes sense. Being the second map ever released for zombies, it didn't have much to it. You were limited in the choice of perks and confined in a small area. Let me also mention that Verruck sprinters weren't easy either. There were some traps that you were able to use, but other than that, this map didn't have much features, which is one of the reasons it ended up just being so difficult. Coming in at number 2, it is going to be Nocturne Toten. Just like Verruck, it was one of the first maps. Matter of fact, it was the first map. In the original Noct, there were no perks for the player. Obviously, this increased the difficulty by a lot. The only Wonder Weapon featured was the Ray Gun, and the map did not include a Pack-a-Punch machine, which is understandable. Being the first map in Zombies history, it's pretty bare bones. This makes for a challenging, yet fun, 
survival map. And finally, coming in at the number one spot for the hardest map in Call of Duty Zombies has to be Bus Depot. A lot of you might be a little surprised at why it's number one, but hear me out. This map is another mini survival map. It doesn't include both a Pack-a-Punch machine nor perks. So this is a pretty bare bones map as well, but what separates this one from the others is that it includes lava. The lava can catch the zombies on fire, which can damage you when you kill them. If you kill a zombie too close to you, then it'll blow up and cause explosive damage to you. So you have to maintain your distance while killing the zombies. This adds a much different challenge than the previous maps. So this is why I believe that this is the hardest map in zombies. There you guys have it. That is my list for the top 10 hardest maps in Call of Duty Zombies. If you guys enjoyed this list, then consider subscribing. If not, then that's fine. Also, sorry for the lack of videos. I've been busy with work, but I've got a couple video ideas in mind now. And I'm going to really buckle down the next couple of days and make some more videos. Anyways, I don't want to waste too much of you guys' time, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.